Are you ready? Yeah. Give it up for our sister this morning. Come on, give us some love. It's a minnow. Minnow. But it's going to become a whale. Woo! And this time, the word he gave for me to minister was this time, this season, this generation, all of our ministries are increasing in influence. Yeah. Hallelujah. And where it was a minnow ministry, Amen. it's a whale ministry. Acceleration. See that? Yeah. And that minnow I keep seeing is in a tank, but he's going to let the minnow oh, go oh. to the ocean. Woo! Thank God. And he said, where some of you have sold five books, you're going to sell 5,000. Oh, amen. amen. Because those who don't go in the rapture are going to read those books. Yes. Yes. Praise God. And wow. he's preparing us yeah. to increase in influence for that time also. Yeah. Says the Lord. Amen. 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 So, whew, yeah. minnows no more. Amen. Because minnows get eaten. Yeah, come on now. Amen. Whales eat them. Come on. Now that's a transformation. Amen. 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 So thank you for having me, Pastor Tom and Stella. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Amen. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you all. Uh, I'm, I'm just really excited because. <laughs> Amen. So he says the new season, um, there's a stretching coming. Again, we're shifting, but there's a stretching coming. Amen. Those areas of neglect need to be dealt with. Amen. Those areas we've neglected. You know, I found a little garbage under my car seat, my truck seat. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's neglect. Uh -huh. It's true. You get someone in your vehicle. And then they got to sit in that. That's neglect. That's what's in our hearts sometimes. We got to get that neglect out. Amen? Amen. Amen. Every day we influence someone. Every day. That's right. Amen. Every day we influence someone. People, you said that, I took notes. People are most important. We have to love people. If, if we're not, we don't love people, we're in the wrong business. That's it. Tell it, say that. You can go work at a card shop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> utterance, Lord. Thank you for utterance. We need to redeem our time and use that time to influence people. Yes. To influence, be people of influence. Amen? Yes. Focus, be watching. Our sphere of influence is increasing. It means our capacity to have an effect on the character and development or the behavior of someone or something is increasing. That influence is Amen. that anointing of influence yeah. is increasing. The power or capacity of causing an effect in, in an indirect way or to cause change without directly forcing it to happen. Amen. 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 People Amen. of influence. Amen. We are to copy Jesus. Amen. Yes. Amen. As leaders, as pastors, we're to copy him. You know, Jesus said, I can't do anything. Yeah. I can't. I can't say anything. I can't. Unless I hear it from him. Because words frame our world. They create that picture, that dot to dot picture of our world. Do and say exactly what he says and does as a copy. His character. Let's go to Ephesians 5 and look at uh, that. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He says in verse 1, Therefore be imitators of God. Yes. Copy Amen. him and follow his example. Come on. As well, beloved children, imitate their father. Amen. Dear children, I, I know I have four children. My husband moved to heaven seven months ago. We have four adopted children. And yesterday, my little one is five. My oldest is 13. 
And um, we're playing, she takes my face. <laughs> Look at me, mama. <laughs> Look at me, mama. And yesterday we were playing, um, you know those I Spy books? Yeah. Yeah. I really, spy if I don't watch it, I can really get into it. Because <laughs> you have to find the pictures in the picture. Yeah. Yes. Well, this book was interesting because... Like, there was a merry-go-round, and then there was a toothbrush you had to find. I still haven't found it. I don't know where it is. I'm not kidding you. And um, the Lord was showing me that about influence, but the copy and the imitate, that that toothbrush is so ingrained in that picture that you can't tell. Yeah. The devil is going to say, who's who? Come on now. That's right. Is that Dr. Holman or Jesus? Yeah. Uh-huh. He can't tell anymore. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He can't tell in this season, in this, in this time, in this time of influence, in this time of increase. He cannot identify. He can't. Amen. Because we're one. We're this is time. good stuff right here. Amen. It's changed to know him. Amen. To recognize him. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Yes. That's my determined purpose. And everything else comes. From that place, Amen. from that time, that place, that, that, that moment, everything comes from there. Yes, with him. That's good. Yes. Amen? Amen? So, uh, if I find the toothbrush, <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was tough, and it's for children. I know. <laughs> and like, but it, it wasn't like it stood out at all. It, it was in there. It was ingrained. It was the same. Yeah. It was the same. Yeah. See? So we imitate our father, copy him, and follow his example as well beloved children imitate their father. We're still his kids. Yeah. We're kingdom kids. Amen. Yeah. We don't call our yeah. children our adults. <laughs> this is my adult. <laughs> right? This is my son. This is my daughter. Amen? We're his kids. Yes. He always calls me daughter. Yes. He has always called me daughter. Amen. I'm his daughter. Yes, yes. that's right. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now imitate takes or follows as a model. Anyone ever been a model? <laughs> well, modeling was not my thing. I just learned how to get dressed now. <laughs> I just need one drink or have two. <laughs> Thank you. My niece was a model, and uh, it was interesting because, you know, they do the walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, they kind of go like this. <laughs> their legs are this big. And who are they modeling? I don't know. I, I don't know either. I'm not kidding you. Think about it. who are they modeling? <laughs> the world system. Wants to suck in these people. People tried it with us, but our influence is increasing. Come on, and instead of listening to the talk show hosts and and watching those models, those naked women, and watching the world. And, and, and they're, they're sucking from the breasts of the world's women, True. the True. world's True. mothers, True. the world, and, and, and they're getting poisoned. Yes. Yes. Amen. But he's raising up the mothers and fathers oh, hallelujah. in this time, Glory. stronger. Yeah. And it's, it's the fivefold, yeah. yeah. But it's the whole body. Yes. 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 Okay. And we're going to drink. From the word. Thank God. And we're going to give this them the word. Yeah. Because the world is poisoning the people. Yes. 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 There's nothing there that we need. No. Amen? No. Come on. Amen. 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 A model, this is good, is a three dimensional representative. <coughs> Spirit, soul, and body. Spirit, soul, and body. Yes. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yes. Made in the image and likeness of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yes. I'm like, wow, Google that. <laughs> 
duplicate of reproduction in him. Remember when Kenneth Copeland got so nailed about little Jesuses? Yeah, yeah. Little, little gods. Hmm. We sit next to Jesus. Yeah. I'm seated there. Seated there. Sit down and then stand up. Hey! <laughs> Sit down and stand up. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 That's good. So you guys prepared this. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. We're to be a pattern. Ooh. A pattern. A pattern is a repeated decorative design like crocheting, mm -hmm. uh, needlework. Mm -hmm. I crochet. Yes, I do. I do not cook. <laughs> All my girls cook. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> but I like to crochet and it's always the same pattern. Because it's easy. Yeah. It's an easy one pattern. But it's the same design. Yeah. Right. Uh, a reliable sample of traits, acts, and tendencies. It's observable char or, or, of the observable characteristics of a person. Now Galatians 5 in the Amplified says that the Deeds of the flesh are very obvious. Mm. Oh, yeah. They're obvious. These. See? So we need to become obvious yes. <laughs> with the character of God. Amen. What happened to kindness? Come on. Where is thank you, please? Yeah. One of the ten. That's yeah. Come on now. One of the yeah. ten came back. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That old just an attitude. Yes. Come amen. on now. But manners and what happened to all this? Yes, yes. amen. Yes. See? Yes. To influence. When I was on, um, I traveled in missions for many years. Not many years. Some years. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Not five yet. <laughs> Few years. Uh. And my main post was Burkina Faso, West Africa. So I've been there four times over there. And, um, we were in the market one day, and um, you know, you're walking, the Lord points to someone. Mm -hmm. And I look, and there's a pregnant woman with two or three children hooked on, you know. Wow. They strap them on, yeah. Yeah. and she's buying a pot. Mm. And the Lord said, go pay for her pot, her kettle, cooking kettle. Mm. So I went, and I had an interpreter, and I said, could you, could I pay for your cooking pot? That's what it was. Mm -hmm. And she looked at me. And then I said, well, do you want that other one right there? And the you know, interpreter, she looked at me. She's like, oh. And then he said, she's very, um, like, humbled. She doesn't, yeah. it's never happened. Wow. Yeah. So I, it was three bucks. Wow. 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 Yeah. So... Got the pot and I turned around and there was a crowd gathering. Oh, sure. oh. And I went, Ooh. <laughs> and the Lord said, Minister, yeah. 12 people got saved from the influence of buying a pot. $3 pot. A $3 pot. That's influence. Yeah, that's I worked influence. with a girl um, before I went into full time ministry, which is just uh, four years ago, full time. Um, uh, I worked as a nursing assistant and then I was in management. And, and every job I went in, I went right to the top. So I'm like, ooh. Mm -hmm. So I had a lot of, uh, we have a lot of influence. Amen. Yeah. You say authority, yeah, but I like the influence. Oh, yeah, that's good. And um, yeah. there's a girl, and she could swear. <laughs> and I thought, wow, look at her go. She's been good. <laughs> I mean, she had it down. She had it going on. She did. She had it going on. So, um, <laughs> Then she turned and she goes, oh, I just heard that you were a pastor. I said, oh, yeah, yeah. and I didn't ever announce it because then everyone's staring at me. Right, right. Yeah. I like being a kind of people. <laughs> so I said, you know what? That doesn't bother me. Yeah. What bothers me is that a pretty girl like you has that coming out of your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And she came to church. See the influence? Those things that you... The love of God. He's just so... Yes. Yeah. How it just changes the people. Yeah. It's increasing. Yes. 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 Amen. The word today, it's increasing. Yes. Victory on every turn. Yes. I was at Walmart 
You know my Walmart stories. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know my entire leadership is here today? Oh, and those two are at my home watching my kids. Especially for women, is an emotional. Yeah, it's I, an emotional. Yes, it is. It's a, a release. It is. Because I can go to the store and just go. Oh, I'm here. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We go. Oh, we're here. Yeah. <laughs> ah, oh. 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 Ah. 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 Especially I, I TJ Maxx. Walmart. So I'm in Walmart again, and the late, the people in the scooters, oh, the, yeah. the uh, engine, yeah. or engine, the motor. motor yes. So I look and there's a lady in her scooter and she's like this, you know. And I went, oh, can I help you? She goes, oh, thank you. So then I got down her water. Well, then in the aisles, whenever I went, that she was there, and there she goes again. I go. Oh, can I help you? <laughs> and I'm like, well, do I need to just stick by her? <laughs> you know, I didn't know. But it influenced. She's just so happy. Yeah. yeah. You know? Because you think about it, you sometimes helpless like that. Right. Yeah. Uh, the compassion yeah. is like, oh. Yeah. I remember before my husband uh, moved to heaven, um, and I did forgive him for moving on me. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, uh, she came over. And took, I was going to go to the Shadow Fair with the kids. And I thought, oh, I can't go to the fair. Oh. So she came and took the kids. And I just knew that I wasn't to go. And I got home, and my husband uh, was on hospice. I was gone like an hour. And he needed big time help. And he just went, oh. I just, I said, Lord, send Bev, send her home. And I just got there. But that release of that burden. To help people yeah. of that pain yeah. Come on now. Yeah. and those burdens and simple tasks right. yeah. and yeah. simple smiles yeah. and simple thank yous and yeah. that you're worth something. Yeah. Amen. And you're valuable and and you're honored because I I, I I say it all the time at, at, at my churches. If we are familiar with our spouse, mm -hmm. the honor is gone. Yes. 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 If we're familiar with our children, the yes. honor is gone. Yes. Yes. If we're familiar with our pastors, the yes. honor is gone. That's right. Amen. He was my pastor for one year, Mark and I. When I saw you last night, I was like, oh my gosh. I'm not crossing that line ever. Amen. Amen. See? And all pastors, I have such a, I'm a pastor's friend. I'm telling you, I will stand for the pastors. Amen. Because I know, Amen. you know what I mean? Amen. But it's like lifting that burden for people and being that pattern, that model, that copy Amen. of good. imitating Jesus as we as leaders spend that time and pour in that, oh, agape love. Agape love so we can make a choice that that feeling isn't going to count again. Yeah, Amen. Right. And right. we choose to forgive. Yes. And we walk by faith. Yes. Amen. 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 So a pattern. As we are influenced by him, we influence others. As we redeem the time, mm -hmm. our influence increases, our opportunities increase. Without redeeming the time, how are we going to have any more time for opportunities Amen. to influence? Yes. So redeeming the time is key in influence increase. Amen. Yes, it is. See? Yes, yes, yes. it is. Amen. We need to be aware of ourselves, our conduct, our mannerisms, Amen. our words, yes. our tones, yes. our attitude, our body language. Yes. You're talking to someone, you're like, 
<laughs> like, hurry up and get it over with so I can get out of here. Oh. You know, or, or you go to the doctor's office and there's the guy or the dentist or wherever you are, Walmart. And then there's the guy the, that wants to talk. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, you want to read the Bible. Yeah. But he's reading you. Yeah. Yeah, that's the right. truth. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's right. We don't have time for people but to redeem the time. Yes. We'll increase our influence to have time for people and yeah. shut off the TV. Yeah. Forget about the phone. Yeah. Put it down. Yeah. That's good. Because God wants to catapult us so far from Come that on. thing. Yeah. So far from that thing. So far from that addiction. So far from that lust. So far from that desire that we will never ever find it again. Hallelujah. Yeah. Not going back. No. no. Amen. Yesterday is over. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. amen. We must influence people with the character of our Father. Amen. Of our Father. Yes. With love, kindness, giving, helping, serving, forgiveness. I was brushing my teeth, and yes, I do. <laughs> Brush and floss. Yes. Yeah. Which is a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm brushing my teeth. No, I'm left handed. I'm brushing my teeth with my electric toothbrush. <laughs> and when the battery goes out, it's a bummer. Oh, <laughs> In your hotel room. Uh, I'm like, okay. Uh, <laughs> old school. And I'm brushing my teeth last year. Okay. The Lord said, pay for your mother's hair for one year. And then he said, no, for the rest of her life. I said, yeah. 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 It's hair. I'm, hair is very important. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when it's really fresh and you don't know what to do with it. And I, my mom said she cried for one day. Aww. Because no one ever did that for her before. Aww. And it Changed our relationship. Now, God did that. That was supernatural, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. You said it last night that giving is a supernatural. Amen. The devil it can't is. touch it, it right? And it changed our entire relationship on a hairdo. Yeah, so good. And that's what, 40 bucks yeah. every six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and it's okay. Five bucks a week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, you see the influence? Amen. Whatever he says, the influence. Amen? Amen. Um, let's see. Oh, I want to tell you this story, too. Back in 92, the Iron Curtain went down in 91. Back in 92, um, my pastor at the time and five of us went over to St. Petersburg, and we loaded. Well, I didn't load it. But we had a freighter. Do you guys remember that? Yeah. And we had a freighter go over to St. Petersburg, up through the channels there. And then we flew over to St. Petersburg to meet it. And I'm born again three years then. Okay? All pumped, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we get off the plane and I went, oh my gosh, I want to go home. It was awful. Guards lined up with the hats, fur hats, mm -hmm. machine guns, wall-to-wall yeah. oh, wow. -wall at the airport. Because you get off on the... The American side of every airport is not like the other side of the That's airport. That's right. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So, it was solemn and there was no noise in the airport. Okay? So, s Russia at this time is in what? 10, is November, almost a year of the Iron Curtain down, it's chaos. Yeah. There's no food. There was no water. Wow. So, we got to our hotel and there was no water. So we had to drink that thick syrup Pepsi. Mm. Oh, yeah. wow. Your ankles go like this. <laughs> <laughs> and um, everyone was solemn. No one smiled. Well, at the front desk, the I don't know if it was the KGB or it was like a representative or something, but he came and they took all our passports. <laughs> I've seen it in the movie. <laughs> this is it. I'm 32 at the time. Wow. I'm done. Now, I was.
was a chicken. Uh, I, three years saved, you know, messed up, drug addiction, drug dealer, drugs, in and out of treatment centers, drugs. So I'm a little, woo, you know, kind of weird. And I'm in Russia, and I'm freaking, right? And my sister was on that trip, and she's like, well, She's the younger one. <laughs> Just stop that now. I'm like, what are we going to do? They got our passports. You know what that means? We'll never be seen again. They throw you in a cave. <laughs> and Siberia isn't that far. It's just over there. And when we would minister, we ministered, at the church is there. And it was neat because the church we connected with Dave Essela. You guys remember Dave yes. Essela? And he was the one that God sent in 1985, and he sent him to St. Petersburg. And he said, there's six million people there, and there's one man I want you to meet. And when you see the one man, you're going to know who it is. And he, he, they were met in the middle of the city. Wow. And that's how it all clicked out with uh, AFCM and Casemans and, and all that. So here we are. Anyway, and my point is this on influence. They're, they're not happy people, okay? So um, we would we walked everywhere we went. So we walked like 10 miles a day, and then it snowed and things like that. But um, two blocks every night before we got back, the joy hit us. Mm. We had to walk two blocks, <laughs> like <laughs> toast, <laughs> and loud, <laughs> and laughing, and, and spit flying and, oh. and, and the, we got into the, the hotel and they were all like What's ah! that? well the, the church wasn't even happy then either. so the church guides then they started getting happier well then it started influencing that yes, joy because yes, they're weak they need the strength yeah. see yeah. so two blocks every night for two weeks before we got there we were drunk <laughs> yeah, we were drunk. Wow. And after three days, guys, just for a note, which is kind of int- really neat, we all prayed Matthew. Um, I can't think of it. Oh, I'm blank. Um, uh, anyway, we asked the Lord for water, and we went down to communist headquarters. We walked through there, and there was like a popcorn wagon. Like we know what a popcorn. Yeah. And in the window was lined up b- bottles of water. Um, we bought them all. Wow. Three bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Three days with no water. Wow. We were cramping up and everything yeah. after yeah. flying, you know, wow. all that way. Yes. And there was the water. Wow. And then in our room, our cockroach cockroaches carried off our shoes. Uh-huh. <laughs> but God was was faithful. Scary as it was, wow. His grace was there to influence. Amen. To influence. Amen. 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 You know, there's people in our lives that are kind of, well, once we get past it, at first they're kind of scary. You're like, oh, I don't want to deal with them. They're kind of tough. And then you just influence them with love. And they become like a marshmallow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See? His love is so hot yeah. that he, mm-hmm. he, it's like lava. Yeah. lava. It just That's melts everything in its oh. way, even marshmallows. Amen. 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 So I wanted the, yeah, the influence there, and then um, uh, a couple stories I wrote down. But he wants us to influence. Let's look at, um, I'm going to do a couple scriptures, and then I'm going to read something, and then I'll be done. Um, Philippians, I'm going to go there first. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 4.16, and just look at that. So I urge you and implore you to be imitators of me. Mm -hmm. That simple. Mm -hmm. For this very cause I sent to you Timothy, who is my beloved and trustworthy child in the Lord, Mm -hmm. who will recall to your minds my methods of proceeding and course of conduct, purpose, Mm -hmm. and way of life in the anointed one in his anointing, such as I teach everywhere in each of the churches. So B, I want to just show you the imitators of me. Let's look at uh, 1 Corinthians 11.1. There's a scripture there. I'm in the Amplified. Um, Pattern yourselves after me. 
Follow my example as I imitate and follow Christ, the Messiah. Amen. Isn't that good? Yes. Pattern yourself. Pattern. Make it an intricate pattern. Yes. Um, Amen. Okay, let's go to Philippians 3 and then... We'll read this, and then I'm going to read one more thing. For my determined purpose is that I may know him, that I may progressively become more deeply and intimately acquainted with him, perceiving and recognizing and understanding the wonders of his person more strongly and more clearly, and that I may in the same way come to know the power outflowing from his resurrection, which it exerts over believers, and that I may so share his sufferings as to be continually transformed in spirit into his likeness, even to his death in the hope, that if possible I may attain to the spiritual and moral resurrection that lifts me out from among the dead even while in the body. Not that I've now attained this ideal or have already been made perfect, but I press on. We press on to lay hold of and grasp and make it our own, that for which our Lord Christ Jesus, the Messiah, has laid hold of me and made me his own. Amen. I do not con uh, consider, brethren, that I've captured and made it my own, but one thing I do, it's my one, one aspiration, forget what lies behind and strain forward to what lies ahead. I press on toward the goal to win the supreme and heavenly prize to which God in Christ Jesus is calling us upward. Woo! Yes. Upward. 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 Amen. Amen. Upward. Amen. We're going upward. Now I want to read this to you. Uh, the Lord, we had uh, four weeks of leadership in March with our Okano Church and the Shano Church. And the Lord gave me the standard. And I, he asked me to share it today. And he, he said it then and he said it again. Quote the standard. He didn't say memorize it, he said quote the standard. So I'm going to quote the standard. As we gather, the Lord has said to me, set the standard in the meetings. For the bar is high and we must all reach and press for the high call in, in Christ Jesus our Lord. A, level, a standard is a level or quality or attainment to offer a high standard of service. Excellence is an idea or thing used as a measure, norm or model in comparative evaluations. A banner carried at the top of a pole and used to mark a rallying point, standard, especially in battle or to serve as an emblem. This banner or flag over this ministry, over our ministries, corporately and as an individual, over our ministries, over us as individuals because we're in increasing influence as what? Individuals mm -hmm. and in our ministries. Amen. From the minnow to the whale. To the whale. Amen. I still see that minnow. He's like this long. <laughs> this flag over us, guys, in our ministries says this. We are here. Yes. And ready to serve. Amen. At the height of excellence. Wow. And in the highest regard to meet the need of each person. This flag, banner, or emblem says we are of royal descent and a military unit resides here. Come on. We are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a chosen race, and our commander's own special people. What makes us uncommon is that we live and operate in unity. We live and operate in forgiveness and kindness yeah. yes. and we have manners yes. and ethics yes. and we're moral yes. amen? amen we are not offended come on and insults roll off us like water come on yes. Yes. we are a peculiar people yes. sojourners yes. strangers yes. and aliens yes. in this world yes. we're passing oh, through amen. Yes. we are here we are yeah. given authority from our chief and our commander come in on. his royal army Jesus Christ our Lord. The, uh, he said this church, but these ministries and us as his people are built for serving as a base and support for all who come. The banner over us is love. Remember Horton, here's a who? And he carried that one pink thing around that 
thing. <laughs> so, we are here. Yeah. We are here. And I still watch it like, they're there. Ah. They're there. Somebody, they're there. <laughs> we are here. And in conclusion, <laughs> I hear the spirit of the Lord saying, it's the hubs Whoa. that are rising. Whoa. It's the hub in there. It's the, are you still in Rapids? Wisconsin Rapids. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you something later. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the hubs are rising. Come on, Wakanda the hubs is a hub. Yeah. Shop is a hub. There's hubs being built. Fire stations. Fire houses. Woo. And we're going to train them up, ship them out, and start another one. Come on. More and more churches. In Wisconsin. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Smith Wigglesworth also said yeah, yeah, yeah. those fires are going to start yeah, happening yeah, in yes. Michigan, yes. in Minnesota, yes. uh -huh, uh -huh. in Wisconsin. Yeah. Pastor Tom says it every time. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> Wisconsin is cold. It is. People are just. Uh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But we are here. Hey! 